Well, the Rampage 3 Extreme is running now, but I wish I had sort of a more conclusive, uh... I wish I had something more conclusive as to what exactly was causing the problem, because there... Okay, there's a couple things I ran into. First of all, I couldn't get it to post until I removed the 980X that was in there. I put in this Kingston RAM, although I haven't tried any other RAM yet. And I removed uh, my GTX 26, or rather GTX 8800 GTS 640 video card, which now I've tried on another system and it seems to be dead, which is very confusing because it was working up until exactly when I tried to use it with this system. So that's part of why I ran into trouble. It's uh, really bad when your tester parts, your, your known good components die. So anyway, I tried with this GTX 275 that's sitting here and it worked. And then I tried with, uh, with an evaluation um, Radeon 5000 series card and it's working with that as well. So we're finally posted into the BIOS. But since the whole point of my original video with the Rampage 3 Extreme was going to be seeing how it reacts with 24 gigs of RAM, I thought before I go any further, what I'll do is I'll pull out this Kingston module and then I will see what happens. Now that we've actually got the board posting, because we've got a working video card in it, I'm gonna go ahead and install my six RAM DIMMs. Okay, we got one. This is gonna take a little while, so please bear with me. Just got the camera sort of hanging from my neck here. I've had some complaints that it causes dizziness and nausea, so um, I guess I can, I'll have to disclaim my show from now on that uh, watching it may cause, you know, vomiting and all those other nasty pharmaceutical side effects. It's okay, you guys can handle it. All right, there we go. So I got my six dims in there. It looks all shiny and gold. Okay, the color scheme doesn't really match, but uh, that's okay. If you're buying this motherboard, you should probably be buying like some Reapers or, uh, or Platinum Series RAM anyway, rather than the basic gold. So here, the little post LEDs. This is what actually helped me figure out it was the VGA card. So you can see it goes CPU, RAM, VGA, boot device, boom. We are booted up and let's see what it de detects by default for the RAM settings here. So target DRAM frequency 1333, so it got there by default. Uh, let me see, oh okay, Extreme Tweaker is the first option in this board. Go figure, they assume someone buying a Rampage 3 Extreme board is going to want to tweak it a little bit. Wow. Okay, so auto is 1333. We can set it up to 1600, although I have no idea what would happen if we did that. It looks like the default voltage for the RAM is going to be 1.5 volts, and you know what? Since we're, you know, here anyway, why don't we boot up the system and see if it's actually even remotely stable with 1.5 volts because this OCZ RAM is actually rated for 1.65 volts at DDR3 1333 CL99920. So what that could mean is maybe we could even overclock these modules a little bit and, uh, and, and still run them within their default voltage. So that would be kind of cool. So I'm just going to wait for the system to boot up here. Let me see if there's anything else interesting on my desk. Ooh, check this out. It's a Magni course, but it's not a real one. It's actually just a, just a blank, just to, to demonstrate how large the CPU is. Let me see if I have anything else around here to show for, for context. I guess I don't really, but uh, yeah, it's really big. Now I'll kind of put it there. So now you can see how big it is compared to a memory module. Okay, we're booted up. There we go. Now I can stop killing time. So here we go. Why don't we grab Prime95? You always want to use Blend when you're testing RAM because otherwise it doesn't really test the RAM. And uh, let's have a look at our task manager here where it will show our physical memory total of... Well, that doesn't seem right. Let's fire up CPU Zs here and see what's going on. So hold on, available free, it's only showing 16 gigs of RAM. Is that a Windows limitation? Okay, first let's check here. So in CPU Z, it shows 24 gigabytes of memory, and it shows that it is running at the correct timings, except this should probably be 20, but that has almost zero impact on performance anyway, the TRAS, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And then, uh, okay, our CPU frequency is correct, everything looks hunky-dory except for the fact that the RAM here is only detecting a 16 gigs. So you know what? It may actually be a BIOS setting. Uh, this is not something I've done before running 
20 gigs of RAM, so here, or 24 gigs of RAM rather. So here, let's see, um, Windows 7 memory limits. Search is always your friend when you're troubleshooting something. Windows 7 memory limits, here we go. So let's find out what Windows 7 Ultimate is limited to. Windows Vista, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, should in theory be limited to 192 gigs of RAM, but is it possible that there's uh, something else at play here? You know, I had really hoped that this video would be more conclusive than all of this, but um, why don't we go back into the BIOS and see if there's any kind of setting that might obviously allow us to see all 24 gigs of RAM. Because you can see it is detected in CPU-Z, it's just a matter of the OS not being able to uh, utilize it. You see that all the time if you're running like a 32-bit operating system, you'll see 4 gigs within um, memory detection programs, but you won't actually see 4 gigs of addressable memory space through Windows. So, okay, here we go. Okay, that's just frequency, memory configuration, protect. Allows you to lock or unlock the memory configuration. Well, why don't we... Okay, why don't we just kind of leave that the way it is. In here, I don't see anything that looks like it pertains to... Uh, hmm, some kind of memory limit. Okay, voltages are all good. Let's see if there's anything in advanced under maybe chipset or CPU, which is where you more often find um, extra memory settings these days because the memory controllers are on the CPUs on both Intel and AMD platforms. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like I am foiled yet again. So once again, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, let me know if you can think of a way for me to get access to all 24 gigs of memory. And I just wanted to address a couple of the ideas that other people had when I was trying to troubleshoot posting this board. Uh, no, I did not turn off the PCI Express slot, although that would have been hilarious and sounds like exactly the kind of thing I would do. Um, the problem did not end up being that I had to have a Molex plug here and here. And I even tried with a higher powered graphics card, that 275 co-op, and that did not fix the problem. Uh, the problem was not clearing the CMOS, um, and it was not flashing the BIOS. I did not need to flash the BIOS to get the 6-core working again in here. And uh, let me see what some of, the other, some of the other good ideas were. And uh, yeah, no, you know what? I actually had a lot of good comments, a lot of good ideas, but none of them ended up being it. It ended up being a dead video card, which is strange because I did already test with the GTX 260. And um, yeah, I didn't, didn't have any luck on that side either. So, you know, it might be a matter of going home and testing my GTX 260 now as well to see if maybe that's fried too. That would be just terrible luck. So thank you for checking out my video on installing 24 gigs of RAM in the ASUS Rampage 3 Extreme.